Hi, I'm Lance D. Lang with Yada Yada. This video we're going to be talking about a common problem with your elbow called golfer's elbow is the common term for it, or medial epicondylitis. During this conversation we will also discuss cubital tunnel syndrome, which can often be related. So you may have heard the term golfer's elbow before. Perhaps your buddy's on the golf field and takes a swing and that slice goes off to the side and he blames it on his golfer's elbow. What's he talking about? Perhaps he's just pulling your leg. Or perhaps he does have a problem. Golfer's elbow is a problem with the elbow that occurs on the inside of the elbow. If you feel with your elbow bend, there's a bump on the inside. This is called your medial epicondyle. There are some tendons that attach in this location. Just behind this bump is your funny bone, you may call it. It's your ulnar nerve that comes from the upper arm down into the hand. Golfer's elbow is particularly when you have a tendonitis, when the tendons attach in this location that are causing you some pain and discomfort. This can often be with this motion often attributed to golfing, or other activities repetitive in nature can cause a tendonitis. If you just have tendonitis in this area, it would be called medial apicondylitis, as the muscles hold onto the tendons which anchor to that bone can get inflamed and upset. If you have this and it's only pain at the elbow, this may just be golfer's elbow. But it could have involvement of the cubital tunnel, the ulnar nerve coming through there. If you have involvement there, you may be getting some numbness up into these two fingers. Specifically, the little finger and this side of the ring finger. As this side of the ring finger is with the median nerve, a different uh, potential problem such as carpal tunnel syndrome. With golfer's elbow or with medial epicondylitis, you can develop cubital tunnel syndrome. This potentially could be more problematic. If you have golfer's elbow, specifically just pain at this inside of your elbow, there are several things you might do to help. Anti-inflammatories, thermal modalities such as ice or heat, some stretches or even massage could be a benefit. I'll refer you to our videos linked below that will guide you on some stretches or exercises you can do if you feel you have golfer's elbow. If the problem persists, straps or braces or elbow sleeves could be used. Physical therapy, formally seeing a therapist for some of their assistance, or even injections could be performed in this area. If you are to receive an injection in this area for golfer's elbow, be sure it's by a qualified individual. It would be potentially catastrophic if the injection were performed into the nerve itself. As long as your practitioner is well educated and can differentiate, this could be a successful treatment. If you're developing numbness that persists down into these fingers, you may have cubital tunnel syndrome, and this may warrant further evaluation. As this nerve may not be forgiving, and you could develop more permanent problems or disability damage to this nerve. Damage of this nerve extending down into these fingers can become chronic and potentially in a rather quick manner. If you feel you have cubital tunnel syndrome and have numbness in these fingers, please seek out medical help soon, as nerve tests or other diagnostic treatment may need to be performed to lessen your symptoms and most importantly, to keep them from becoming permanent or developing long-term problems. If you're not sure if you have cubital tunnel syndrome, a couple quick tests you might perform at home. If you bend your elbow deeply, and notice shortly after that these fingers, these two fingers go numb, this could be because of problems with the nerve here. If you tap lightly over the funny bone nerve and you get numbness or tingling in this area, this could be a sign. Although even a healthy nerve could give you numbness or tingling if you tap it too hard. So just a gentle tap or a deep bend to your elbow causes it to go numb you may well have cubital tunnel syndrome, and we would recommend you seek medical attention to have it evaluated. We hope you found this video educational and that it's helped you out. Thank you for joining us, and as always, be safe and have a great day.